Hello and welcome to Technic Force tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration on how to integrate Zapier with Porso app. Zapier is an online automation tool that connects your favorite apps such as Gmail, Slack, Mailchimp, and etc. Let me show you how to do it. Go to API and Trackers tab on the left navigation menu. Click on the API to get list through Zapier. As you can see, it has a note that the capability of getting leads through Zapier is disabled on your account. So what are we going to do is to enable it from API configuration. We will go to API configuration above and toggle on to allow adding leads from Zapier. You can actually disable or enable it anytime. Also, if there is a way that you will not see API key, just click on the regenerate button. Going back to the API to get leads through the Zapier section, you will be able to see that they are now applicable. When clicking Zap, a new tab appears with a note that you have been invited to use Porso app on Zapier. Take note that you must have a Zapier account created. Scroll down a little bit and click on the Accept Invite and Build Zap button. Click on the Click Zap button. Here's the thing. Porso app is just like a receiver. It is not going to give you leads to any app, but to take leads from the other apps. As you can see, there's this app event section together with its 2,000 apps. There's also the search bar when you are looking for the apps. For example, let's use Gmail. So when you get leads from Gmail, you can place them into the Porso app. From here, select an event type. In my case, I'll get this new start email. It will trigger when you receive a new email and start it within two days. Click continue. It will ask you to choose an account. What are you going to do is to connect your Gmail account. Select your account, click allow as it asks permission. When done, click continue. Now that it is connected, let us try to test our trigger. You will be able to see the details from your email ID. Click on continue. Adding a trigger is done. The second step is the action. In the top event, search for the Pursu app. Click it. It will ask you to select action event. Select add subscriber. Then continue. It will ask you again to choose an account. You can choose one or you may create a new account. As you can see, it's asking for an API key and list ID. To get this, go to the list tab, select your list, and copy its list API key. Paste it to this window. To get the API key, we must go to API and Tracker Stop. You can take your API key from the API configuration or the API to get leads through the Zapier section. It's up to you. Just copy and paste it. Hit on Continue. The account is now added. Click Continue. In this Setup Action section, you can add a subscriber name, but it is optional, so you don't have to. The only requirement is adding the email. If you also want to map it in custom, you can just add custom data to this other section. When doing this, you will have to insert data to the subscriber name. Let us have this from name as an example, and the subscriber email would be from email. And let us also take the subject for these others, and then select a subject. You can also add more if you want to. Let me add date as an example, and click continue. Hit on test and continue. It gave you a note that a subscriber was sent to Pursu app just now. Let us go back to our list to check it. You will now be able to see that the email that we added was labeled as Zapier as its source. We 
can also see the custom fields that we added, which is the subject and the date. Now that everything is done, click on the Turn On Zap. We have now the trigger and the action. Let us try to click this Go to My Zap button. You can also name your Zap if you want to. Whenever you get an email from a sender in your Gmail, well, it is marked as starred, it will be added to our list. You must also take note that when you are integrating Zapier, you must consider turning on these verify emails before adding them from this email verification tab, so that when you get spam emails, they will automatically refuse to add to your list. Remember to select your list and the types of list to delete. If you want to know more about this email verification, you might have to check out our tutorial video for this. The same goes for this campaign. You must toggle on this restart campaign for the newly added leads after the schedule, if you are using campaign. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful. We also have a bunch of videos and demos on this channel. Take a look and you might also find tutorials about the other apps too, which might help you succeed in internet marketing. Thanks for watching!